Ginger Jester. Um. Shoot. I do that every time. Oh, they have their own menu spot. Ta da! Hover bicycle. We. I love this contraption. This is not north. Don't think that one's marked. It is. Okay. I gotta get around to that. There's so many things to do in this game. There's so many. It's overwhelming sometimes. Just how much there is to do. Which is why I don't feel particularly guilty about not recording everything. Because there is too much. There is too much. Nope. Yep. Cool in his back. Every time, man, every time. I'm gonna put this on preemptively. Because I'm going to get hit by lightning. Uh, it is cold, so put that on. And some first aidy pants. Okay, so she's around here somewhere. But where? So it's morning. So that's east. Mm. She's probably not gonna respond, but you know. Oh, hello. Oh, it, it broke mid-swing. Oh, they're weak fire too, aren't they? Here we go. Gerudo Sanctuary. Okay. Hmm. So there must be a ball around here somewhere that I can roll in there. <laughs> Detective mode activate. What is that? Oh, the ice house. I remember the ice houses. Although there might have just been one. This one. <laughs> Whoops. You had one job. Um, I don't know if I have a picture of the shield. I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ice house. Kind of hot enough that it's all melted. Hmm. If only there was some way to make ice. <laughs> Could I have this ice? Y yeah, it's yours. Make a hunk of ice that fits nicely in the alcove. That would be ideal. Oh. Is that a door or just a crevice? Just a crevice. Okay. 
Okay. That's, I don't know what I'm doing. This one. This one. <laughs> hmm. This is gonna be rough, isn't it? Can't do. I do wish there was a, uh, like a, a wheel like this for weapons. I put away my torch. Because the whole going from one side to the other is uh, really nightmarish when it gets to uh, a certain point. Is that good? Or does it need to be bigger, like taller? Oh. 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 Yeah, ice. There it is. Ah. Perfect size. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to assume that, uh, oh, what's her face? Not here. I feel like that's a pretty safe assumption. She could be up there. Uh, she's probably, like, right at the entrance and I just went past her. Very hot. Wow, the temperature is out of control here. Hmm. I need to find the body armor. Yep, nothing. Okay. Um, get me out of this place. I'm just gonna eat a meal. Uh, 12.30, 8.30, 12.30, 30. Don't miss this one. Five minutes. Ah, uh, start with that. She's right there. <laughs> I, I went completely past her. I'm pretty sure I went over this way. Look at you going. <laughs> Gerudo Scimitar. You missed. <sighs> missed again. Can't hit my mark. Won't do anyone any good. <sighs> Sorry, dude. It's you. This changes things. I didn't expect to see you here. But then, you always show up in unusual times. It's almost like it's my fault. Oh. So Hyrule Castle rose up into the sky. Zelda vanished right in front of you. 
And now you've come here looking for clues. Hmm. Link, I understand how you're feeling. Zelda is a dear friend to me as well. I will do everything in my power to help you. But to do that, I need to bring a quick resolution to a problem we Gerudo are facing. I'm sure you've noticed that the desert is even more difficult to cross than usual. That's thanks to this unusual sand shroud. It appeared around the same time the events at Hyrule Castle took place. Hmm. It has blanketed the whole desert, including our town. And not long after that, swarms of monsters we'd never seen before began attacking. We calling, we're calling them Gibdos. Physical attacks don't work well against them, they are slow, but they still make investigating the sand shroud difficult. Were you watching just now? Oh yeah, I was I? Hmm. I've been practicing striking that dummy over there with lightning. If I can aim the lightning well, I think it may be an effective weapon against the Giddos. Hmm. But this technique is unrefined. I only recently discovered it and still need more practice. I want to master this power so I can use it to defeat the Giddos. If I can do that, we can investigate the source of this sand shroud and search for Zelda as well. Hmm. Link, will you help me with my training? I think I can use your arrows to help me aim my lightning strikes. Fire one of that du at that dummy over there. Low battery. Eh. Eh. Cool. Now let's try something a little trickier. It's called plugging in your controller so it doesn't die while you're playing. <laughs> Alright. I always plug my controller into my computer. And it still works fine, but not today. And plug it into my Switch. Hmm. Aim for those dummies over there. Maybe we can hit them all with a single lightning strike. Here's an idea. Don't try to hit a specific dummy. Instead, aim for the area in the middle of all three. Like, right around where that rock is jutting out. The farther away a target is from me, the longer it will take me to build up the energy to hit it. Okay! Okay. Oh, I see. Yes. I'm getting the hang of it now. The Gibdos don't stand a chance against this power. Oh? I can't thank you enough for your help, Link. <gasps> What was that? Mm. Didn't sound like any noise the sand shroud has made, that's for sure. You heard that too, right? It was... <gasps> Chief? We've received word that a swarm of Gibdos are attacking Karakara ba Bazaar. Buliara is already on her way there. <laughs> She's already... Okay, understood. Thank you. Link, we need to head to Karakara Bazaar at once. I must ask for your help once again. My lightning and your guiding arrows make us a formidable pair. Uh, you, know, you know what else would make us a formidable pair? Do you remember Karakara Bazaar? It's the oasis northeast of Gerudo Town. Can I just teleport there? Oh yeah. Good. Don't let any more Gibdos get close. <laughs> I'm trying. Uh, help doesn't arrive soon. <laughs> Sorry to keep everyone waiting. But I'm here now, and we're going to wipe all the Gibdos out at once. Yeah. Follow me! Link, don't let me down. Oh. These monsters stand no chance. Er, these monsters stand no chance.
Oh no, not my spiked Pokeball. Oh, Gibdos seem to be coming from there. Yikes. We need to destroy that somehow, otherwise it'll overwhelm us. How could we possibly do that? There you go. Ah, there's too many, too many weapons now. Oh, oh, it wears off after a little bit. Okay. Yeah, nothing to it. That was fun. Bulyara, well done holding the line until we were able to get here. Now that we know the Gibdos are susceptible to lightning, this gives us a major advantage. And, you know, fire, which is much more readily available. <sighs> is that Zelda? Oh no. Oh no. That's bad. Real bad. Gerudo Town is in danger. She was heading directly toward those tornadoes. And if more Gibdos are hiding in the storm... Uliara, we need to get back now. Oh. Oh. We're going on ahead. I'll meet you in town. Cool. I... I love that this game actually um, actually has people coming by and helping you. Is there another shrine nearby? Ooh. I have a picture of this, right? Yeah. Casting a material greatly enhances the material's power, but doesn't add much add as much durability. Well that would be great to have used for a Ruby Spear. I'm probably wasting my time. Going up this entire thing. But that's okay, I'll find out the hard way. At least, uh, once I get up here, I might be able to spot the shrine. And it's, it, it is not that one. The one that's right there, like behind me. 
Because that one's already opened. Hello. Sabak. Oh. It's all thanks to the lighthouse that the reinforcements could get here so quickly. It works like a guidepost, even in this intense sand shroud. Shroud. What lighthouse? The shrine over there? Hey, what are you... Listen, this is the lighthouse for the bazaar. Oh, this is the lighthouse. It's not a tourist destination or a place to play around. That said, I guess it's fine now that you're already here. Go ahead and enjoy the view over the desert. After all, this is the only place in Karakara Bazaar where you can see over the sand shroud. Um, so it's this way. I, uh, I don't see it. Oh. Back to Gerudo Town. Oh yeah, now you show up, dragon. 2 p.m.? Oh, I guess he doesn't show up during the night like the other one. Ladies? Hmm. Look, Link. There's a Gibdo here. Just like the one that appeared near Kara Kara Bazaar. Oh, Gibdo Hive. Hmm. Why did I say here? Both the Hive and those tornadoes were reported to have shown up at the same time, too. But it's not only one Hive. There are three to deal with. Each one just outside the town gates. I'm really, like, ad-libbing here, aren't I? I don't need a clairvoyant sand seal to know a massive Gibdo attack is coming. Oh. Right now, those hives are durable and nearly impervious to attack. But when they open and begin releasing Gibdos, they're vulnerable. Gibdos won't wait outside our walls forever. <laughs> so when they launch their attack, that's our chance to strike. Uh. Huh? Come. Come. To where I am. Where is that? Uh. Again? You heard it, didn't you? Come. Is it calling out to us? Mm hmm? Lady Riju, Link, is something the matter? I thought it's not. <laughs> Link, for now we should focus on protecting Gerudo Town from the enemies at our gate. We must prepare for battle. I'm prepared. I'm done. Ready. Ready to go. Let's go. Hmm. Sand Shroud. The sudden appearance of the Gibdos and their hives. Strange events keep happening one after another. And we saw Zelda near Karakara Bazaar. But she hasn't been seen anywhere around Gerudo Town. Hmm. There's something bigger going on. But for now we need to focus on the problem at hand and prepare to fight. Like I need your help again. Speak with Bula Buliara and soldiers and help us organize our defenses. Oh. Do you have questions about preparing for the battle? Uh, what's the plan? Oh. Talk to Captain Cheek in the yard. Work with her to decide how to best how best to deploy our forces. Oh. Pata is in the courtyard. She's in charge of the materials we have on hand. We could reinforce our defenses with them. If you need anything, you should talk to her. Oh. Do you have questions about preparing for the battle? Oh. When the battle begins, I will be focused on protecting her. For the sake of the Gerudo, nothing can happen to her. Yeah, I noticed she had a health bar during the last one. Ooh. These are mine. Mirror? Why would I need a mirror? I wonder if light affects them. 
play has affected Gibdos in other games. Ooh, look at all this stuff. Oops. I don't think I have a picture of the bow. I do not. I've seen the uh, halberds on other ones, and I haven't taken a picture of a Gerudo Claymore. Oh, right, because uh, I've only ever gotten the high durability Claymore. But I do have a scimitar. Strange. Get rid of the Boko shield. What's all this? Rupees? Why do I need rupees? Ooh, that's nice. Hmm. Attaching a material greatly enhances the material's power. Okay, so... Let's get rid of some stuff. Uh, I don't need this spear broadsword. And that's about all that I'm willing to actually part with. Is the Master Sword fused with something? It is. really paid off. Although, no. I want this one. It's only one attack power in the difference, but this is more for like a spear point. I'm just looking for aesthetic. Whack. Alright. Um. So yeah, the this would be good for this spear that I have. Uh, oh, there's Claymore Spear. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. In favor of this. And I'll fuse that with a rock. Really precious stone. Aha! Okay. Traveler's sword, sword. <laughs> well, I don't need Traveler's sword, sword. But I could use Soldier's broadsword. Claymore. Gerudo Claymore Sword. Barricade Building. Oh. I've been gathering materials that I think might be useful in battle. Feel free to take anything you need from here. I already have. Also, I'm confident that I can build a barricade at any of the gates. Would that help you? Oh. There are three gates. From the palace, the north gate is ahead, the west gate is left, and the east gate is right. I've got an idea for a barricade. I'll use iron barrels and wood to block the path. Which gate should I set it up at? Uh, east gate. Yeah. Okay, the barricade has been set up at the east gate. Let's just slow down any enemies that attack that position. Oh. Just the one. Barricades. Ooh. Oh. Ah. Okay. Um. 
So now if an enemy hits my shield, it should send a shockwave at them. Should. Alright. Save it again because I've done a couple of things that I'd probably forget if I ever reload. Hmm. They are... Link. I'm curious about that voice we heard earlier, but... Large numbers of Gibdos are moving to attack the town. Before anything else, we'll need to deal with this. Oh wow. The east gate is protected. Stay strong. This threat is also an opportunity. Fight well, and we can wipe them out in one battle. Hives and all. <laughs> Prepare yourselves for battle. Let's show them the true power of the Gerudo. Oh. Everyone, protect our chief. Protect our town. The monsters have appeared outside town. Shore up the defenses at the gate. Enemies have emerged from the hive at the east gate. This is feeling very Hyrule Warriors. Where's the freaking electric things? Shock fruit. Yeah, there we go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Enemies are pouring out of the high here, but North Gate to take them out. Enemies have been spotted inside town. Did they break through the gate? Apparently. Okay, so I have to use her ability, not my own. Flying enemies from the hive at the east gate. They're heading straight for us. Flying enemies? Flying enemies. I don't see any flying enemies. Flying enemies from the west gate hive. Lightning strike! All right, another hide down. Damn it! Good. The enemies won't stop coming until we wipe out all the hide. I'm working on it. Good. Your town is hard to navigate. Oh yeah, there's flying enemies. What the heck are those? Eliminate every enemy you see. We're the Just last a line of defense. Moth Gibdo. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna go ahead and ignore that, because uh Damn it. Need to save her. Give the wing. Wing that catches the light. Arrows and throwing weapons fly further. Looks like most wings. Ah. Damn it. <laughs> 
I missed an apple. Wait for the pulse. There we go. All we have to do now is clear out the rest of the Gibdo. No, I didn't want that. Alright. Uh oh. I didn't realize she was under attack. Alright, use your thing. God, they're like scurrying at her. Just wonder if those are regular Gibdos or if they're special kind. Oh, they're regular Gibdos. Oh, I don't have a bow. <laughs> I was like, why are you why is the targeting thing not coming up? Okay, they're fine. Yeah, there's one dude left over here. It was all me. Yeah, that was pretty rad. Oh? Link, I am incredibly grateful for your help in the battle. On behalf of all the Gerudo, thank you. I suspect the Gibdo threat will calm down a bit now that we've wiped out the hives that we were surrounding the town. Mm. I noticed that the hives crumbling into... I noticed the hives crumbled into sand when we destroyed them. I wonder if the Gibdos have some kind of connection to the sand. Or maybe, maybe they're connected to the sand shroud. Did they make it? Did it summon them? Hmm. And then there's a voice that you and I both heard. A voice and lightning. This reminds me of something. Hmm. Link, there's something you should see. Come down to the mural in the underground shelter. Oh, the mural of uh, Gerudo and Avo making out. Yeah, you can teach me about that if you like. Can I come in? Oh, okay. It was just delayed. <laughs> I was like, what the heck was that? You came. <laughs> Not yet. Look at the mural on this wall. Hmm. It is thought to have been painted by ancestors of the Gerudo. It appears that when they created it, they were also using their this shelter to hide. Perhaps the Gerudo of the distant past were also beset by some great disaster. Anyway, the writing on the mural says, hmm. Standing back to back with the throne, witness red pillars across the vast sea. Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. You who can hear my voice, come to me, I await you. Mm. That mysterious voice that spoke to us, its words reminded me of this mural. Mm. This image must represent a location of some kind, and the engraved words are a riddle to discovering its location. It's the only explanation that makes sense. Hmm. Okay. So we go to the throne room. And... Uh, 
suppose I'll put on a sweater. Standing back to back with the throne. Mmm. All I see is sand seal. Hang on, that's like lopsided. I can move this? I sure can. Where... where am I? Yep. Good. Oh. Hello. So that's just a quick way back down. Well, I don't immediately see what they're talking about. Witness red pillars across a vast sea. Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. Could this be one such pillar? I'll have to find out next time, because I'm out of time. Tune in next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.